Hey friend, John McLennan here, and in this video, you're gonna learn how to play No Woman No Cry, as recorded by Bob Marley on guitar. Now this is a classic song, it's a crowd pleaser, and it's a super fun one to jam. It's in the key of C, and it only uses a couple chords. We've got two main parts, and we're gonna use a little bit of syncopation in our rhythm, and also we're gonna do a cool little walk down. I'm gonna break it all down for you note for note, but before we dive in, I wanna hook you up with a gift right away. If you're new, you've gotta download my ultimate fretboard guide at the first link down below. And this is gonna show you the five must know chords and scales to play in any style, anywhere on the neck. And this is the system that I use to map out the fretboard, and I wanna give it to you completely for free. Just go to johnmcclennan.com slash fretboard guide, or use the first link down below. And the beautiful thing about this is it's all on one page. So it sounds like a lot of information, but it's really just all on one page. I was able to compress it down so you can print it out and put it on your music stand or keep it on your desktop as a practice tool to help you learn more about the neck. So grab your copy completely for free at the first link down below. And with that said, let's break down this song. Let's break down how to play No Woman No Cry as recorded by Bob Marley on guitar. Now this is gonna be from the live in London version from 1975. Now there's two main parts to this song, or two progressions, really, and we're gonna start off with the chorus, which is the majority of the song. We've got a little walk up, and then a really fun four bar pattern. Here's what it sounds like. One, two, So we're using just a couple chords here, and we're gonna start off with this walk up. Now, I use this technique called hybrid picking, where I play with my pick and my fingers at the same time in my strum hand. And so I would recommend doing that for this. But if that's too hard, you could always just play the bass note. The lowest note of what part here I'm playing. So I'm starting out with my ring finger on the third fret of the low E, and then I have the open second string, and I pinch those two together. Then I go to the first finger here on the first fret of the second string, and I pinch the fifth string open with that. So my pick is on the lower strings, and I'm using my middle finger of my finger picking hand here, or strum hand, to pinch the notes. Then we go to the second fret on the fifth string and the third fret on the second string. Then we'll finish with just the open G string. So it goes. And that reminds me a lot of, right, like the beginning of Blackbird. So here we're just doing a walk up, it's very common sound. Basically we're going from a G to a C chord. So G, then C. Okay, now the chords you need to know for the main progression or the chorus are these chords. We're gonna start on a C, and I'll play that from the fifth string down like this. Three, two, open, one, open. So five down there. Then we'll go to a G over B. And for this chord, I'm just gonna play the middle string. So I'm gonna play the second fret on the fifth string, then open D, open G, and then the third fret there with my pinky on the second string. So I have my middle finger and my pinky, and I recommend using the fingering that I'm using here. So instead of going like this, which a lot of people do, try and work this out. It's gonna really be valuable in the long term. So from there, we'll go to an A minor, and this is again from five down. It's just like a C chord, but we're gonna bring that ring finger to the second fret of the third string. So you should be on open, two, two, one, open for your A minor. And then the last chord is F, and we can play a full F bar chord if you can get it. One, three, three, two, one, one. 
or what I do is I use my thumb. Sometimes I'll even play this little F like this, just on three strings, starting on the fourth string, three, two, one. So I've got C, G over B, A minor, F. Okay, that's the first two bars. We're gonna play it like this. Okay, so what I played for the strumming pattern here is just one and two and a, just a down, 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 up. Nice little strumming pattern there using three eighth notes and then two sixteenths, which are just a little faster, right? Double timing from those eighth notes. So one, two, and a, down, 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 up. Now you can put that with the progression like this. Then go to the next chord. Now here, when we go A minor to F, we're gonna go one and two and three and four. And this is called a syncopation, where we play a chord that's, instead of being right on the downbeat, we're gonna put it on what's called the and. So we're gonna go one and two and three and four and. So that's the and of two. So I play A minor, one, and on beat two, I'm gonna do a little rest with my strum hand, and then on the and of two, I'll hit that F chord. So one, two, and three. Just practice that. One, and two, and three. You wanna have that rhythm down, it's a really useful one. Then we'll do one more strum on beat four. So one, and two, and three, and four, and. So, so far, it sounds like this. Now we've got some rhythm happening. Then we go. So I went back to C for two beats. Then I go to this little F that I mentioned earlier. And here I'm gonna do what's called a walk down. We hear this in so many songs. It's just a walk down from what we call the four chord to the one chord. This is an F chord here, three, two, one. Then I play the fourth string from the third fret. Then I walk it down to the second fret. Then play open. Then finish on a C chord. So. So all together, one, two, and a three. That's with the woman no cry, right? It goes with the melody. Woman no cry. Then I tie that in with the intro figure. So that's the whole chorus, and that's sort of our main progression for the song. Again, that's going over the words. What it sounds like. One, two, and. Now, if that walk up is too hard, like I said, just play the bass notes. You could do that, or you could just play a G chord, which you could play like this. A any G will work, but third fret on the low E, then mute the fifth string, open, 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 three. So that would sound like this. G. Remember that this, basically functioning as G to C. It's just a cool little walk up to get between those chords. All right, the only other part is the verse. And this is like, you know, right, when Bob comes in singing, I remember when, when we used to. So here we just play the first two bars of that main progression. So it's gonna go. Da, 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 da. 
and we repeat. Da 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 da. Now we do that eight times, and then we go to the full chorus. Now the only other part that kind of makes a little change is the everything's gonna be alright. Right? And that kind of gets a little funkier, but it's still on. Everything's gonna be alright. Still on that first progression. Then you come out of this. Great work making it through this classic Bob Marley guitar lesson. Be sure to take your time with those chords if the transitions are new or just using some of those different fingerings for the chords. Give your fretting hand time to get used to learning those shapes and just day by day put your fingers on the chords and it'll come together. And to help you even more, make sure to download my ultimate fretboard guide at the first link down below. And this is going to show you the five must know chords and scales to play in any style anywhere on the neck. And I want to hook you up with it completely for free. Just go to johnmcclennan.com slash fretboard guide or use the first link down below. Also, before you go, leave a comment and let me know your number one song that you would like to see me teach here next on the channel. Just comment the song down below. Thanks for your support with the videos and we'll see you in another one real soon.